If you want to learn how to grow your YouTube channel fast in 2018, stick around because I'm going to show you exactly what you should be focused on right now to make sure that happens in 2018 and beyond. And don't forget, if you want to continue to build a foundation for YouTube success, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you click that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. Hi and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier and I am here to help you build a foundation for YouTube success. So today we're going to talk about how to grow your YouTube channel fast in 2018. And to do that, we need to get started right now. And today we're going to focus on keyword research and how you use it to plan your video and get views by showing up in YouTube search. Let's get started. All right, so in this video, we are going to look at keyword research and how you use it not only to help your video get discovered in YouTube search, but how to actually plan your video. Ultimately, when you're doing this right, you want to think about the keywords or the keyword phrases that you're going to use before you even record your video. And there's a number of reasons for this. Let's take a look at the last video posted on Creator Fundamentals, which was how to grow your YouTube channel fast in 2018. So prior to even creating this video, I did research to determine what I wanted to use as a keyword phrase. And how I did it was by starting in the YouTube uh, search bar and you begin to type And as you type, you'll notice that YouTube kind of jumps ahead of you um, to figure out what you want to what you want to search for, and it actually shows you search phrases that people are actually using. So, how to grow your oops YouTube channel fast? And we'll see that's an actual search term. If we stop right there and we hit enter, we'll see that there's 20 million views on this phrase. Now in this case I went with 2018 and let's take a look at the search terms on that. As you can see it's a much lower search result, you know, presumably because 2018 hasn't arrived yet, uh, but the way that I actually structured these videos uh, was kind of a plan ahead so that you were ready for 2018. I'm going to be doing a series of these videos uh, along this same topic. So you'll see that by finding a phrase that people have actually searched for um, and trying to find one that has a lower search result, you have a much better chance of getting your video to show up in the search results. If you look at this page and you look at some of these channels that have these results in them, 5,000 views, 4,600 views, 3,000 views, 160 views, that's Daryl Eves, 20,000 views, from somebody using Roberto Blake's image. That's interesting. Not really sure what GetCode website is. Uh, in any case, we also have another channel, 310,000 views. So you can see for this video that just was released yesterday, it probably has like 75 views now. Uh, it is ranking one, two, three, four, five, six. It is ranking in the top six videos based on the keyword phrase that I selected. So what you want to do, and there's a couple reasons for this, and this is why I mentioned that you want to do this searching before you actually create the video. Because in this video, and if we watch this video, uh, you will see, or you will hear rather, and we'll play this so you can hear it. And that was the important part. If you notice in the very beginning of this video, I restate the title of the video or the keyword search phrase. Um, and as you'll see, when I came up with the keyword phrase that I was going to target, that became the beginning of my title. That's very important in helping you uh, to have relevancy in your title and to get your video to rank uh, high in that search results. So you'll see once I came up with my keyword phrase, I used it as my the beginning of my title, we see here. And then in the very few seconds of the video, I repeat the exact keyword phrase that I've selected. 
And the reason for that is YouTube automatically transcribes your video. So that becomes more metadata that YouTube can use to figure out what your video is about. So when you have the how to grow your YouTube channel fast in 2018 uh, as your title and you've repeated it in your description and then you look at your, your tags and you'll see that you've also included that in your tags, the relevancy for that particular search term is very high. So that is how you can focus on a keyword phrase that will actually get you uh, on the results page in a meaningful way that can help people find your videos in search and help you to start gaining views and watch time on a video. When you have a small channel, uh, you really need to focus on search in the beginning because that's going to allow you to accumulate views and watch time over time. And what that's going to do for you is basically slowly build up uh, enough authority or enough watch time on your video that eventually it'll start to get suggested on other videos. And it's when that video starts to uh, become a suggested video on bigger channels and other videos, that's when that quote unquote pop happens because you get a ton more traffic from suggested videos than you might from the actual search. So we're gonna also go into TubeBuddy and I'm gonna show you how to expand on a search term to find other search terms that you can use in helping to build out your keywords. So if we go back into this video, and we'll stop that right there, and we'll go into Video Manager. All right, so if we come in here, we will see that we have all the keywords that we've used for this video. Okay, so once we're in this video, uh, you can come down to tag or the TubeBuddy tag tools and click on Explore. And then you can do, start to do different variations of the keyword phrase. How to grow your YouTube channel fast. And when you use this explore function, it's going to give you a couple of fairly important pieces of information. Uh, on the left hand side, it's going to show you some keyword phrases and the frequency of use that are related to the one that you've searched. And more importantly, down here in the keyword score, it's going to show you search volume, which shows you how um, much search is going on for this exact phrase and then it's going to show you competition. As you can see here this has an overall rating of 39 out of 100 and a bad rating because there uh, is a ton of competition and not enough search volume to warrant it. So uh, what we want to do is try to find um, some search terms that have good ratings. In this case this has very high search volume and it has high competition, but the search volume outweighs the competition. And so this is coming back as a good one to target. Now, from my personal experience, even though this one is listed as good, if we take this particular search term and we take a look at it and we will see just how many search results are coming back on it. So there's 16 million. So one of the things that you want to consider when you're using um, those that search functionality, which is available in here, and um, we'll do how to grow a YouTube channel. We'll go back there to look at a couple things here. What I usually found that the search volume that's very high is still kind of hard to rank in. So if you start out by finding something that has like a mid-range search volume or even a low search volume with not a lot of competition, that's really going to allow you to start getting that trickle effect of views. You know, it may only be a couple a day or, you know, a handful a day, but over time those videos will accumulate watches and watch time. What you want to avoid is having a collection of keyword phrases 
that you can't rank in at all because you're not going to get that trickle effect that's slowly going to add views and watch time to your video. So it's really important to try to target keyword phrases that you can actually rank in. If you're not ranking or you're on the 10th page, it's not really helping you. You know, so this is going to give you, you know, most used tags and you see a bunch of different things here. Um, so depending on what your actual topic is, you can kind of um, start with it. So in this case, how to grow your YouTube, whoops, your YouTube channel fast and we'll take a look. And as we mentioned, this had a high search volume, but a very high competition. Again, the bad score. Now, when we look at 2018, we're gonna see a noticeably lower search volume. So when you're just starting out on YouTube, this is kind of the perfect example of what you wanna target. Here it has low search volume uh, and it has very low competition. So it's coming up with a rating of good, which means that this is going to be able to rank. And as you saw when we did the search, it was ranking. Um, and it's going to allow video views to trickle in over time. Um, and in this particular video, this video is focused on 2018. So when 2018 does arrive, and this video has been out there collecting views, it's really in a position to pop in 2018 when that search volume starts to increase. And this video is already established in that space. So uh, I wanted to show you guys exactly how this works and why you would use something like the title that I've selected versus using something a little more, uh, you know, a little wider, like the How to Grow YouTube channel fast, which is going to have a ton more competition. You really kind of want to whittle your way in to the search term that you're using to make sure that it's low enough that you can actually compete in it. I just want to show you some general things in the search here. So as I mentioned, as you type, you'll see that it, it autofills for you and it gives you how to grow your YouTube channel fast. Now, one of the other things you can do in addition to seeing the type of head that this does, you can also um, hit the space bar and start working through the alphabet and it will show you all the different options. And this is something that I think that they've also recently updated. In the past, this would show you, um, it would show you extensions of letters that started with, uh, or words that started with that letter directly after it. But now it's, they seem to have enhanced it so it's gotten smarter. If you notice when I did D, it recognized the fact that there was a search term that had this in it, but started with D because one of the things you would do in the past is to get stuff to show up in front of this. You would do an underscore space and that would show you any search terms that ended with this value, but had other stuff in the beginning. And as you can see, it's doing here, McJugger Nuggets how to grow your YouTube channel or tips on how to grow your YouTube channel. This is another thing you can do when you're doing a search and you're trying to get results that actually um, are search phrases that people are using. Everything that shows up in this dropdown are searches um, that people are actually using. So like if we go here, how to grow your YouTube channel with zero views and zero subscribers, this is actually, um, something that I've targeted in the past with the same concept that I'm explaining to you now, which is a lot of much larger channels. We're looking at video creators with 5 million views, Roberto Blake with 48,000 views, Roberto Blake with 78,000 views, and here's Creator Fundamentals with 214 views on top of a channel that is verified and has 25,000 views. So you really can compete if you focus on the right keyword phrases and they can help you grow your channel. This stuff actually works. It will help you grow your channel faster than you're growing now if you're not taking advantage of keyword research. So it's super important, it's super powerful, and I wanted to share it with you so you can 
you know elevate your channel and help it grow a lot faster than it's growing now so as I mentioned when you do decide on a particular keyword phrase that is going to become your exact title that's going to give you the best relevancy um, in this case if in the video that I showed you in the beginning or I had an extension on it at the very least you want to make sure that the beginning of your title matches the um, exact keyword phrase that you're searching and whenever possible that should be your title and nothing else in that field uh, I am having a slightly different approach on the how to grow in 2018 um, you know based on a, a different strategy but when you're just starting out your channel and you're trying to get it to grow the best thing you can do is use that exact keyword phrase as your title and nothing else so in this case I targeted how to grow with zero views and zero subscribers I actually did this based on the fact that I was trying to rank with this video which had five million views and I was able to get one two three four that one doesn't really count top five in actual videos uh, you know so it does work and this is proof that it works if you target the white right, right keyword phrases and you don't you know get too greedy and try to uh, target something that's super competitive this is something that has 505,000 revolt re results and this is a top five um, hit here and that's because it is the exact keyword phrase um, used as the title it is the exact keyword phrase referenced in the description and then also of course it's one of the keywords that are used when you're trying to fill out the remaining keywords as you can go into suggest and what suggest does is it looks at what you have now and it gives you some ideas of things that you can use how to grow your or how to grow on YouTube YouTube tips how to grow your YouTube channel fast in 2017 and you literally just click on the pluses and that adds it to your collection of keyword phrases so definitely recommend using the TubeBuddy tool to build out your keyword phrases and like I said you have the ability to type in a bunch of variations of your keyword phrases and find those phrases that actually have a good score and hey if you're not using TubeBuddy yet what are you waiting for TubeBuddy provides all kinds of awesome features that help save you a ton of time when you're making videos and trying to grow your channel I personally use TubeBuddy on every single video that I make for both my thumbnails yep my thumbnails are made with TubeBuddy and also for keyword research every single video that goes up on both of my channels go through TubeBuddy so you definitely should try out TubeBuddy I will put a link in the description below and I'll even sweeten the deal by giving you a promo code that will allow you to get 20% off if you want to upgrade to one of the paid versions uh, the pro version is an excellent way to go and that 20% off will let you try it out and uh, really see all the benefits that come with it but I highly recommend it my thumbnails can be made using I believe at the pro level so you with the pro um, license you could actually uh, use the same tools that I make to do the thumbnails on this channel so definitely click that link below get your 20% off check out the pro level and then let me know what you guys think uh, I definitely want to hear your comments about this video and uh, how you've been using keyword research if there was anything that you feel I left out of this video that you have questions on definitely leave them in the comments below and I can't wait to hear how your keyword research improves your channels I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you would like to continue to build a foundation for YouTube success, make sure you've clicked that subscribe button and the bell notification icon, and let's get started on growing your channel. That's all the time we have for today. My name is Dan Courier, and you're watching Creator Fundamentals. Thank you.